Hello everyone, so today I have the amazing Tom from Science with Tom Hello. with me. If you haven't seen it yet, we made a great Adele parody over on his channel, so you should go check it out. And we talk about, uh, in that video, reasons why science makes the world so much more better and amazing and mysterious and wonderful and awesome rather than taking those things away. So I wanted to just sit here and chat with Tom about our thoughts on that subject. I've got a lot of thoughts on that subject. All right, so why don't you tell me some of your thoughts on that subject? Well, um, I think it starts for me in high school. Okay. I didn't like really get into science until that stage. And it was funny, it was very similar to a story you were just telling me, which is that I remember when I learned about protein synthesis mm. and the fact that it was happening in every cell of my body, I started staring at my hand and I felt like I had like x-ray vision to see all the way down to that microscopic level and the little molecular machines that were happening there. And same thing with photosynthesis, where like when I learned about that, I, I would start to look at trees mm -hmm. and like just staring up at a tree is already one of the most beautiful things you can do on planet Earth. Yep. But then once you have this additional layer of all of the complexity of those molecular machines, it just makes you feel an almost spiritual connection to mm -hmm. the things around you. The, the thing that is so exciting about putting your own existence on planet Earth in this long trajectory of planets forming and suns exploding and evolution, yeah. A, it's just like an epic story. Yes. It's a good story. Yeah. Like, but the, the, the cool thing about it is that it's constantly changing. Yeah. Like evolution's a good example where we're discovering new fossils just about every year that are reshaping our entire family tree and so you kind of feel like you're almost understanding how things played out, but then you, you have to be capable of saying, no, like, it was that. So the fact that the story can change and our understanding gets less and less wrong over time yeah. is a really beautiful thing about how science lets me view my own place in the world. I think that's a really cool thing to think about too, is that the fact that science starts with a hypothesis and then test that hypothesis and then builds up its knowledge of the world. Mm -hmm. But then new things can come in and sort of extend that and expand that so that we, I don't know, we're sort of at this point, at all points in history where we think we get it and we understand it. And we do to some extent, but there's so much more that needs to be done, that needs to be explored, and there's always new questions. And the fact that our worldview through science is just constantly growing and changing and expanding is amazing to me. I think that's so cool. And also, to be in a position to be able to add to that is, I don't know, I just, whenever I'm like complaining about grad school, I have to step back and be like, no, but I'm adding to science. And that's awesome and not everyone gets that opportunity and that feeling of just being sort of bowled over and blown back by science is amazing to me yeah i think that's super cool agreed the sense of wonder the sense of curiosity like yeah. it's, it's i feel lucky to be a human being yeah. you know what i mean not every living organism gets to have as far as we know right the same sense of like reading a book and, and like really grappling with issues at this intellectual level and I feel like science and other fields I don't mm -hmm. want to hate on other fields no, no. because I've got no, a lot of love for other ways of approaching these questions I do too for the inter integration of these fields mm -hmm. and so it's just so happens for me personally right that that science provides the most compelling um, lens through which to explore a lot of these things. Yeah, I like that idea that this is the sort of the lens that we have chosen to look at some of these bigger philosophical questions in the world that I think everybody has at some point. Where do we fit in the world? Where do we fit in both this moment in time and all of time together and in this place and in this world? And science makes me feel humbled to have a place in all of this and also so privileged to have a place in all of this that I can be a part of this amazing world and universe and galaxy that we live in and that there's still so much more left to explore of. I'm sure Adele's thought about that. I bet she has. I bet she has. And so when she watches this video, oh, yeah. after watching the other video, clearly, I, I hope that she's able to comment and just let her let us know what you think, yeah, Adele. Yeah, I mean, Adele, if you have thoughts on how to use science as a lens to view the world, we would love to hear it. You should. We could. We've got another chair back here. Yeah. We can have. Next Adele time you're coming through Palo Alto, hit us up. 
So thank you so much, Tom. Thank you for, for having me. And joining me. Uh, if you haven't seen our video yet that we did over on Tom's channel, we'll put it somewhere around here, maybe over there, maybe over there. You'll find it. You can go click on it. And while you're there, you should absolutely subscribe to Tom's channel. He does amazing stuff with science with Tom. Uh, and you can go check out even more science videos over there. So go forth and do science. Look around you, take a look, see, make it hands on, see if it fuels your curiosity. Mm -hmm. And you tell me there's no mystery.